Hello and welcome to NCS Extra Credit. NCS Extra Credit is our short video series on current topics in the credit world, mainly focused on mechanics liens, UCCs, and collections. I'm Jerry Bailey, and today I'm joined by Mary Cowan, our president, for a special edition of Extra Credit on our very new and extremely unique product that we're unveiling, Lean Finder. Uh, Mary, the last time you and I did an extra credit, we were talking about the changes that were coming up for UCC filings in July of 2013. Today we're moving over to the other side. We're talking about construction. The construction industry has certainly gone through a lot of change in the last several years. So what have you been seeing? Well, Jerry, first of all, thanks for having me sure. back. It's always a pleasure to be on extra credit. And uh, to answer your question, one word, wow. It's hard to believe that it's been seven years since the financial crisis that resulted in the demise of the construction industry. And it's already been five years into the so-called recovery. There have been a myriad of lessons learned resulting in a dramatic change in the banking lending for commercial development. The world really has changed. You hear reports touting a stronger 2014, but there's still uncertainty. Europe, Japan, and China's economic woes, there's nuclear weapon development in Iran, and here in the U.S. we have uncertain taxes, Obamacare, an unstable stock market, along with the Federal Reserve Chair hinting that the central bank may raise interest rates. A mix of all this, and you have an entirely different world, making businesses look differently at evaluating risk. The construction landscape has really changed. And to build on that, I saw last month McGraw-Hill reported that we should see a 17% increase in commercial building in 2014, uh, slightly at faster pace than the 15% gain estimated for 2013. The numbers are encouraging, but what's important to note is that we're still 28% below the 2007 peak. Experian and uh, Moody's Credit Index just reported that in Miami, uh, an alarming 38.8% of construction firms' balances were being paid beyond contracted terms, while builder firms are paying balances back, on average, uh, 20 days beyond terms. And the same is being seen in Orlando, D.C., Illinois, Pennsylvania. There's still great uncertainty in the construction industry, I think. Absolutely. And here at NCS, we closely watch the Architecture Billings Index, or as you may know, ABI, and the number 50 is the benchmark that they use and anything above that number points to expansion. The ABI experienced a record high 57.9 in January 2007 and a record low of 33.3 in January 2009. In 2013, there was growth between the months of May through October, so that was great. And then November dipped, and so did December causing pause and for all of us to take a closer look. Then on top of all of this, the Credit Research Foundation reports that 60% of businesses have had a reduction in credit staffing. So maintaining profitability and growth is now much harder. So over the past two years, NCS did take pause, and we studied how could we better help our clients manage construction risk. We understand how critical project information is to the construction credit professional, and with that mindset, we created a solution, a source of data that provides meaningful information for the construction industry, and hence, the development of Lean Finder. So, wow, that's, a, that's a, quite a summary of the construction world for the last couple of years. Um, what exactly is Lean Finder? Good question. Lean Finder is business intelligence. It's a database that offers two solutions. The first is just basically big data. You have instant access to recorded notice of commencements, mechanics liens, and other construction documents from over 900 of the largest counties all over the country in one place. So the significance of that is, as you may know, every county indexes records differently. And they also have different search engines on how you can get that material. So now we have put everything, indexed everything, into one uniform format, which will save you a ton of time trying wow. to find information. The second piece is that you can search easily to gain information that is meaningful from this overwhelming mass of big data. We currently have over 300,000 projects and 800,000 parties and our data acquisition team is adding approximately 2,000 projects every day and after they review tens of thousands of documents to ensure that we're getting the right documents in there for you to see. Wow. 
So you're saying we're storing all the mechanics liens, the releases of those liens, notices that are recorded, like um, notices of commencement, mm -hmm. which are very valuable um, in the states that have them, notices of completion, California comes to mind of how important that is in the lien process, leases that are recorded, performance and payment bonds that are recorded, contracts that might be recorded too. So that's quite a, quite a database of information. So what all would you use LeanFinder for? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the use of LeanFinder is twofold. First, just searching the raw data. Uh, you can search it by project or party and viewing the documents to learn more about your project information. You may be able to answer the questions as who's the owner, who's the GC, who's the lien claimant, the lender or surety, or who makes up the ladder of supply, which is huge to put those pieces in place. Our proprietary search engine allows many unique search options. You can start large by searching a region or a specific state, and then you can narrow it down to even just to a zip code, and you can discover what projects are underway in a specific area, because we all know existing projects can be indicative of future development. And the second benefit of LeanFinder is the business intelligence. As the only national product of its kind, you can use it to help evaluate credit risk. Has the GC or subcontractor been involved in projects that have had liens filed? As you know, existing liens are a red flag. The sooner you know there's a problem, the better you can protect and collect. LeanFinder will help you learn the behavior of your customers. You can gain better understanding of who you are doing business with. Is your customer a payment problem? Do they have experience with similar projects um, in those areas or in that type of um, construction? Another example of LeanFinder's advantageous information is that you can monitor your competitor's activity. And think about this. One of you're interested in working with a certain owner. Maybe you want to be the GC or the material supplier for Disney or Walmart or Target. Now you can view their projects from all over the country and develop a sales strategy to engage with these folks. Truly, the meaningful interpretation and use of this data is unlimited. Wow. Um, so a feature I really like is that you can monitor either the project, or you can monitor the parties on the project, and then you receive a notification alert when something new gets recorded against that project or that party and, and monitor. Um, that would be very valuable, I would think. So we've had requests for years about a national database for mechanics liens, and now we've created one. This is the only national database of its kind. It's a tremendous tool for those in the construction industry for gathering job information and evaluating credit risk, and not just your customer's risk either, really for anyone involved with that project. Um, it's an NCS innovation that will help you reduce cost as well as risk. If you'd like a demonstration, please, you can reach us um, at the phone number or the email address listed on the screen. So contact us and you'll receive a free two-week all-access pass to LeanFinder. Um, thanks for joining us today, Mary, and telling us all about LeanFinder. Nice to be here. Yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, for, for watching our video. If you'd like to follow us on social media, we're on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. So please follow along. Um, thanks again, everyone, and enjoy your day. Thanks.